all right hello internet it's me utsoka welcome to my channel where i talk about my mental health life and just whatever the hell i want i am on a new camera i am filming on a canon sx 740hs a little bit of an upgrade and um i'm hoping to post more youtube videos i'll talk a little bit more at the end but i do want to talk about um 2021 how's it going um as far as new year's resolutions and goals and the biggest difference i made this year 2021 when it came to goal setting was i didn't really set a goal <laughs> um i used to just be really big on making vision boards and stuff like that and I did make a vision board it was really hard for me to make because I was just so deep in crap that I just wanted to just get out of just get out of it and I did end up making this chart um, like as a last attempt to practice law of attraction principles um i made this chart about one column is like what i visualize like the image that i want to visualize um the description of what that is and what i love thinking about like because you know how they say what you think about you bring about but the issue with that philosophy when it comes to law of attraction is if you have depression or you're just not in high vibes when you think about that thing it can actually trigger negative emotions so I was trying to I was trying to come up with what I do like thinking about what's something that is related to my goal that I actually really love thinking about that makes me really happy to think about um so this was my attempt to do so and i want to kind of go over these goals and how close i am to getting them so the first thing is just to be happy <laughs> to like not hate waking up every day every morning and that has gotten a lot better i said um thank you udoka because i now have happiness that comes from within motivation and the sense of being grounded um and i love thinking about how much effort and work i'm excited to put into achieving my dreams which that actually didn't make me feel good to think about actually so that's probably why that didn't work but um i do feel a lot happier and i do have more motivation for just being around like motivation when i say motivation i don't mean i don't even mean motivation to like go hard or go home i mean just motivation to like care about how i'm living motivation to care about eating a meal eating food for today like things like that and that has really helped what has helped that a lot is leaving a toxic environment that I was in before and then also I was able to increase my income that helped tremendously and I'll explain more about that towards the end of the video the next thing was a ketamine treatment um, if you don't know IV ketamine treatment is um, a new uh, way to treat depression um, it's something to consider after you've tried two or three antidepressants and you're still having issues. You can try IV ketamine treatment, which I'm in the process of, of getting scheduled for. Um, if you've been watching my videos, you know, like every video I'm like, oh, I'm saving up, I'm saving up, I'm saving up. And I finally have enough. And the issue is now that I'm trying to actually get scheduled for ketamine treatment, it's not as straightforward some of these clinics want to attempt to go through my insurance and i'm like listen insurance is not going to cover this 
but they still want to go through it. Um, I have an, another doctor who, like, his schedule is always filled, so I have to wait, like, three weeks to talk to him again about it. Like, just... It's just really annoying. But, the good news is I am now on track to getting this done. I have the funds ready to go and I'm now in the process of getting clear to actually begin this treatment. Um, and I'm really excited. Oh, also, yeah, I also have on here ketamine treatment and regular acupuncture sessions, which acupuncture, like where you put the needles in, I find that actually really helps calm me down. Like, no matter what your opinion of acupuncture is, and I thought it was stupid too, and also the needles are painful, so I have them put less needles than what they're supposed to put. Like, they put half the needles they're supposed to put, and it still works for me. It's still really, I don't know, it it works like the feeling you're supposed to get after meditating or or whatever it gives me that i don't know i've never had anything that worked us that immediately that well and even the the acupuncture people i go to modern acupuncture okay so it's kind of like a franchise so it's not like some like it's not some old Chinese medicine specialist <laughs> it's just like you walk in type of thing and even they're like you're not gonna see any results until like maybe after you do it twice a week for X amount I'm like I feel immediate results so I don't know it could just be completely placebo but it really helps me so I'm excited for that I'm excited for continuing the acupuncture and actually getting this IV ketamine treatment because right now I feel really good that's why I'm on camera right now how much time have I been speaking okay that's why I'm on camera right now um and that's why I have all these ideas and thoughts right now but most of the time I don't feel good most of the time I don't want to do anything so I just want to feel how I feel right now most of the time okay rather than rarely like it is right now um, I wanted unlimited pole fitness classes, which I completely forgot about. I, I made this earlier this year, and then I completely forgot about that. And I was even, like, trying to convince myself, no, I don't need about, I don't need to care about pole fitness. I don't really care about pole fitness. I just need to just exercise, or I don't know. I was just trying to talk myself out of it, but uh, my partner was so sweet. I don't know if he's being sweet or he just wants me to like lose weight <laughs> no actually I think he just wants me to be happy and he was like hey you used to be happy when you're doing pole fitness so why don't you go do pole fitness again and surprise surprise it makes me happy um that's one of the bad things about depression is you lose interest in things that made you happy and then you convince yourself to not do those things that make you happy, even when you're now able to. So, um, pole fitness is on here. And, um, I forgot how much I really enjoyed it. I really genuinely enjoy it. Um, and I'm happy that I'm going. The next thing on here is a steady income of five grand a week. That's, that's my income, income goal. I want to earn, I want to make $5,000 a week, which I'm not, I'm not at that level. Um, I'm going to talk about that actually towards the end of this video, but definitely better. Um, the income is definitely better. I, I, I put how I want to feel, like I love thinking about how freeing life will feel because I can afford to take care of everything. I can afford to take care of bills, investments, savings, debts, um, even take care of family members' bills. Just be able to take care of everything. And lately, we have been able to take care of um, a lot more bills. 
so and it is free it, it does feel really nice and I want to talk about that after the next thing I have here is this floor plan which I don't think you can see I don't think you can see it but there's this floor plan there's this townhome rental townhomes um, where I wanted to move to um, but given because of COVID can I say because of see because of the panorama <laughs> I don't want to get demonetized because of the panorama and then also because of the Texas winter thing um, the rental market is really weird it's kind of weird and things aren't how they usually are and people are not moving people are not moving out so there's like less available like you know how they're talking about like there's no houses there's a housing shortage same thing is going for like apartments like there's a short like people are not moving out people are re just renewing their leases and staying put so um it just economically didn't make sense to move to this particular place but we found a place that is just as good might be better in some regards and we're really excited to go there because we had not been able to afford we could afford but it would be very stressful to pay for what i should say is we hadn't been able to prove <laughs> that <coughs> that we can afford <coughs> a place like like where we're moving to we're moving in about a month and a half honestly it can't come soon enough like i don't you don't want to speed up time because you know you want to enjoy living life but also like I honestly cannot wait to to move out of where we are right now so this came true um, how I want to feel what I love thinking about I love thinking about how luxury it will be to have my own woman cave that is beautifully decorated with privacy and space so one of the things that, that I really wanted was like a bedroom that is just for me like my own woman cave that um, I completely forgot that I want to like decorate it and make it really cute and all this stuff and I'm totally going to I'm just envisioning this kind of like like just a playroom like yeah it'll be f my room so I'll have my desk and stuff and I'll, and I'll do work but also my fitness pole my pole fitness pole um we can work out there have mats for stretching um my partner loves music he loves playing on the keyboard and he sold his keyboard a while ago and i'm like let's get you your keyboard like let's enjoy life again so that might go in that room too so i'm really excited to have space to have privacy like not having to share stuff with other people there's there's an attached garage in this new location I'm really excited for it. my partner's like why do you need an attached garage I'm like does it not bother you that every single time you need to go to your car other people can look at you you have to get fully dressed you have to wear shoes like it could be raining you have to get an umbrella like does that not bother you does that not annoy you that like your own car you don't have privacy of access to he's like no <laughs> I'm like well it bothers me okay so I need an attached garage I'm very excited for that the last thing on here was my credit score i want to improve my credit score our credit went down 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 um because we just weren't making enough to pay for things we kept investing money into business ideas and we were doing things like forming an s corp when there the the income was not there to justify forming an s corp and dealing with all that stuff and the our our credit went into the, the the crapper and now that there's stability we're able to improve that um so we can do a better job now that we're rebuilding our business so in actuality all of these things that i wanted to manifest in 2021 are manifesting before my eyes and they're manifesting in a way that i did not that i did not foresee I thought that they would manifest with income 100% from 
business from self-employment and that's not what happened the crazy thing is I watched at the end of 2020 I watched this girl star girl the practical witch if you don't know her YouTube channel let me pull her up so this this chick okay star girl the practical witch and she does like she does like these pick a card tarot things and in December 2020 she did a pick a card like pick a crystal and a card and I'll tell you what your 2021 will be like and I picked the one that just that I just felt like picking and it has been incredibly accurate so far like to the letter to the T very freaky very freaky are you smiling at me or are you laughing at your thing okay never mind sorry i thought i thought it was laughing at me anyway um it's been very accurate very creepy very accurate and i'm like this is so weird but these things are happening in a manner that i was not expecting i i, I was not expecting it and um and so what I'm learning now is this balance of how do you remain open to to change yet stay confident and firm on decisions that's what I'm learning the balance of because I'm like all of this stuff wouldn't have happened if I wasn't put in the position where where I needed to make a change honestly I guess that's what it is like you just have to be a have enough self-awareness and awareness of your environment to recognize a change is needed the thing is it's it was a drastic change it was a huge drastic change that honestly nobody would have seen coming which which is kind of dumb like people should should see it coming but you know you know what <laughs> I don't know you know when you know when I don't know how to describe it it's like if somebody's in an a bad type of relationship but they're still together you you can see that there needs to be a change but also you're not expecting a change that's the kind of situation it was um, and we made the change. We made a huge change that was actually really scary, but the unknown, the unknown was so much better than where we were at. And it's turning out to be a very good decision because my 2021 goals are, are coming true or coming complete. So with that being said, what am I going to do for the rest of 2021 and what am I going to do about some of these goals that haven't happened like this $5,000 a week goal and this credit score goal and other stuff. So I, now that I have headspace, I've been thinking about more about like what makes me happy? What do I actually want to do now that I have a little bit more freedom and headspace and and mental health I'm more mentally healthy to to think about these things one of those things pull fitness is one and then YouTube is the other um it's funny like since I was a teenager the two things I could not get away from is dance and YouTube like dance and YouTube are just the two things I have always loved no matter what no matter what state of life I'm in, no matter what type of situation I'm in, no matter who's telling me not to do it or to do it, like no matter what, YouTube and dance are the two things I love and everything else, I can take it or leave it. Like I love traveling, but I could also take it or leave it. I, I Like there's so many things I enjoy, but I could also take or leave. But when it comes to YouTube and dance, I just can't. So I'm like, why don't I just keep doing YouTube then? And I and I've been watching As Told by Kenya. I actually just subscribed to her Patreon. 
I think she actually just updated updated her Patreon right now. Uh, let me see. So I love it. And when this girl shared how much money she's making. <laughs> oh, she's going to give away. When this girl shared how much money she's making, I'm sure she's making at least $10,000 a month. I don't know how, like, let, how much of that would you have to give away to taxes? Let's say, and there's so much that you could do as a tax write-off. Let, but let's just say, let's be conservative. And also, I'm in Texas. I don't know what state she's in. But there's no state taxes here. Because I know Kelly Stamps makes 40000 a month. But her take-home is twenty five a month. But she's in California. But, I don't know. Let's say... Let's say her take home is eight grand a month, and that's a light. That's on a light month. This girl is still making. This girl's still making six figures, just from her YouTube. And her YouTube style is very much like mine. Um, very much. Let me just get on camera and talk about and talk my ish for a minute. And I'm like. That's exactly what I want. Like, that's what I want. That's what I want to do. It just requires actually giving a damn about my thumbnail, like making a proper thumbnail and putting descriptions and engaging with it, it and being consistent. It just requires doing it and letting it grow organically. Um, but the thing is, when I'm feeling good, like right now, I can do that. Actually, I'm probably going to post this without making a thumbnail. Let me not say that. Let me, let me try to, let me not say that. Let me not say that. Let me make a thumbnail. Let me make a thumbnail. Now that I have an actual camera, I can take a picture and make a thumbnail. But my point is, I did try, I did attempt to have a Patreon before. I'm not going to have a Patreon right now. I think I'm going to do a Kofi. Like you, like if you want to tip me, you can tip me. You can buy me a coffee, like three bucks one time because there's no content I'm going to get. Like if I'm in a Patreon, there's no, there's no secret additional extra content I'm going to give you. Like I'm struggling just to post on the, the, for free. <laughs> so, but I'm just thinking, man, like I really want to, but also I know I have mental health struggles that'll make it to where... I would be very Gabby Hanna, very Gabby Hanna. Like Gabby Hanna has a Patreon and she don't post on there. That's a Discord that people are paying money to engage with her and she hasn't posted on the Discord in like two years. You know what I'm saying? Like it's going to be very Gabby Hanna and I don't, I don't, because I'm very much that customer. They'll be like, it's not giving what, what, what she said it's supposed to give. Um, I'm very much that kind of customer. So... I don't want to disappoint people like that. Like, <laughs> and also, I don't want to have in the back of my mind having to maintain. Anyway, long story short, I'm like, I really want to do this YouTube, but also, I don't know if I have the mental wherewithal to maintain it. I'm still having certain mental health struggles. Um, like, I still keep having these... I don't know what to call it other than flashbacks. I keep having flashbacks that like give me a pa a mini panic attack in the moment and I can't do anything. I, like it's, I, I still have issues that make me feel like, I don't know if I can be consistent. However, the things that have been helping are, um, I'm taking ADHD medication. I take it on the weekdays because I wake up early for work. Haven't so much taken it on the weekends. But I think honestly that has really helped. Actually, like waking up early and taking my ADHD medication, like that single thing alone has significantly helped a lot of things. And then I have I have my CBD as backup. I have my Kratom as backup. Um, I'm getting active again, doing something I genuinely enjoy, therefore I'm doing it consistently. I am setting my life up in a way 
so that I can be consistent to do things like this. I've I've actually enrolled in um like a meal plan thing, kind of like HelloFresh, but you microwave it instead of cook it because I'm not going to want to cook all the time. Um, I've hired a virtual assistant every now and then, every few days. Like, I'm really trying to create an environment for myself so that I can, so I can feel like I'm living life again. So, um, so yeah, I'm going to actually ponder on some new, I'm going to ponder on what do I want for the rest of 2021 now that now that stability feels so attainable what do I want for the rest of 2021 and I'll share that with you I know every year I've said I'll share that with you but actually I feel like I can share that with you because I've actually have some some things in place that have been helping me so I don't know I don't know you guys we'll see I'm starting to feel well enough and good enough that I actually could make a new vision board now. Actually. The more I just chew on what I actually want was actually important to me. Rather than a facade of what's supposed to be. So well, let's do that. Let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. Um, so yeah, that's the update for 2021. Oh, and if you're curious about the hair, like in Plano Polaris, you guys, I'm still treating it. Um, you know what? I think what I'll do is I'll order like a microscope that can, so we can tr actually track the progress of, of my hair. Um, and I'll make a video about it because there's not a lot of, there's not a lot of women making videos about their hair loss and, and what they're doing for it. So I'll share that. But yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for chilling with me on a Saturday. Um, make sure you leave a comment so I know what you guys found of interest so I can share. Make sure you subscribe if you want to follow me on this journey of getting out of literal BS and um, living more and a more aspirational lifestyle. Which, let's face it, let's face it. If you want to be happy, healthy these days and raise a family, I don't have kids yet. I would like to have kids, but it's kind of scary because I'm like, wow, I am expensive just myself. Oh, wow. Imagine my children <laughs> who I need to intentionally help shape their minds. Mm. That's a whole nother thing. It's a journey. It really is a journey. Oh, boy. Ooh, I need chapstick, honey. So, anyway. Thank you for watching. Um, and if you really, really like this, feel free to uh, buy me a cup of coffee. Link in the description and in the top comment to how you can just buy me a coffee, you know. And until next time, much love, much luck. Peace out. Bye.